Hello and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 10 Access Controls video brought to you by MS Consulting. This is part two of this tutorial which focuses on setting access restrictions and testing the application. On the screen is a list of assumptions and requirements for starting this tutorial as well as the location of a full article with more in-depth information as well as the link for downloading the ACL employee data. This tutorial picks up exactly where the last section left off. So now we're ready to start adding some access restrictions. We're first going to go into shared components and we're going to go into definition. We're going to go to security and we're going to scroll down to authentication and from the drop-down list we're going to click access control view and we'll scroll back up to the top and apply changes. Basically what we're going to be doing is defining each and every element that is going to be restricted by login access. I'm going to go back to our main application screen and we're going to click the report page. And we're going to click on the report under regions and then we're going to edit the ID column going to scroll down to authorization or authentication and we're going to select access control edit. This will limit who can actually edit a, an entry. We'll click apply. Apply changes. And we're going to go back to page one here and we're going to scroll down to the create button and we'll scroll down in its settings here till we get to authorization and again we'll select access control edit and we'll scroll up and we'll hit apply changes once that's processed we're going to go to page two by hitting our right caret button up at the top and we're going to edit the page attributes for this entire page and we're going to scroll down some to security and we're going to select access control edit for the authorization schema, meaning that unless you, in order to edit you must be at that level per the authorization of the application. Now we need to go to page 8 since page 8 is the administration page we want to make sure that we limit that to only administrators. So we're going to go to page 8 and we're going to edit our page attributes and we'll scroll down here to security and authorization schema is going to be access control administrator and we'll scroll back up and we'll hit apply and now what we'll do is we have to make one more change we're going to select the administration tab and we're going to scroll down to authorization and make sure that we change that to access control administrator. If you don't do this you create a security loophole where someone can get to the administration page even if they're not an administrator. We'll go apply changes and now we're going to test the page. And oops! We errored out. This is because the actual developer with which we're logged into Apex is not on the access control list. To get around this, what you can do is either put yourself into the access control list or go back here to the main screen, click the logon page, and click run. This will enable you to log in manually. Now what we're going to do is we're going to log in as our user, starting with our view user, which is LPOPP, -P -P, and his password is POPP. -P. We'll say log in. And as you can see, there are no edit links at all. 
the administration tab is not there and neither is the reset or create. So we're going to log out and we're going to log back in with our edit enabled user which is AFRIPP and a password of FRIPP. We'll click log in and as you can see now all of the edit links are there as well as the reset and create button since this account does have edit permissions and now we're going to log out once more and we're going to log back in with our last user JCHEN with a password of CHEN and hit login and now as you can see the administration tab is shown back up because this user is allowed access to the administration tab there are many other considerations to take into account when you're using access control and locking it down locking down an application within Apex some of these are covered in the full article we hope you take the time to read it and we hope you find this tutorial useful thank you